The Great Wave came from a tour I did in 2012 in Northern Italy. Um, the beauty of touring uh, is that it's not a vacation. And that's actually good and bad, I guess. Uh, but uh, it's, it's not one of those things where you go to all of the touristy spots and, and meet the same people that you would meet uh, if you were any other tourist. Uh, you go to um, towns that uh, have a connection to live music somehow. And those towns are not always the obvious towns. In fact, they're usually not. They're usually not necessarily the big centers. You might do a show there uh, in, in a Milan or in, in, in Rome, but the real stuff often happens off the beaten track a little bit, which is the same here in Canada and the same anywhere, I think. Um, you go where people want to hear you, especially when you're, you know, a folk artist and you're playing smaller venues. Um, so, I played a town called Francoville Bizio, which is in wine country in northern Italy. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It has this wonderful castle right there on the cliff called Francoville Castle. And we explored it the day that I was there, and it was super exciting. It was amazing to... To, to see this castle that was in great shape, that there were there were no tourist lines, there was nobody directing us, we were exploring ourselves, which was really cool. However, it was completely locked up, and it seems strange to me, because a castle that's locked up like that is usually locked up for being unsafe, but it seemed like it was in great condition, so I was curious. So I asked Maurizio, who's the owner of this venue that I was playing that night, um, what the story was of the castle. Now, Maurizio basically only speaks Italian. He he can speak he can speak English as well as I can speak Italian, which is not not very good. Um, but my guitar player was with me, and he told a story to me through my guitar player with my guitar player translating, and it was this incredible tale about the last occupants of that castle being the Nazis during the Second World War. He said that they drove their trucks up to the door, they opened the castle, and they took every valuable piece of art out and carted it back to Germany or Switzerland or wherever. And they said they still, he said to this day, they still haven't ever seen any of that art ever again. It's still just gone. There's only the frescoes painted onto the walls left in that castle. He proceeded then to tell me about all of these heartbreaking stories of um, the Nazis' occupancy of that town. How it was the microcosm of all the things we've heard uh, about Italy and the Second World War. It was a pretty devastating campaign. And after he told me all those stories, he gave me the song, as I like to say. He contextualized it all for me inadvertently. I, he certainly wasn't planning it. But he, he did, he, he set it all up and then he knocked it down. He said, when I was a little kid, it was just probably 10, 20 years after the war, I was 10. He said, I would go in and I would, I would find a way into this castle that wasn't available before. I couldn't get in before, but now, at that, or I couldn't get in now, but at that time it wasn't as secure. And he said, I would, I would sneak in and I would play. And he said I would play Dungeons and Dragons, I would play, you know, whatever. Which I related to, because I used to play Dungeons and Dragons too, uh, act it out, but I would act it out under my parents' step in, in you know, urban St. John's, and he had a whole castle to himself, which is kind of different. Um, but that image, you know, it stuck with me. I started to think about this little kid in this huge empty castle with just the light streaming in and these paintings on the walls, but that's it. That's the only thing's there. And he's just acting out and having a blast and loving the fact that he's in this castle. Because what kid wouldn't? What adult wouldn't, really? But it was it was such a striking image to me, that, that sort of innocence experience thing, that 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 flash of history, that that wave. That idea that this wave had swept through that country and leaving mostly devastation and heartbreak behind. But there was also that constantly reclaimed innocence that comes from from new new blood from kids who then grow up and and carry with them the memories of good or bad that they have 
and that seemed really important to me, and I wanted to try to capture it in the song, and that became the great wave.